This is Tesla's Gigafactory in Austin, Texas. The record-setting billion-dollar construction project is impressive on its own, but it's the factory's innovative manufacturing approach that overshadows everything else. But even for as intriguing as both of those are, there's more to the story, with recent complications casting a cloud of uncertainty over the future of the factory. Today we'll dive into this massive undertaking and take a look at how it came to be, how it produces over 5,000 Model Ys a week, as well as everything else that's been making the headlines as of late. The Gigafactory is located just southeast of Austin, and its immense size gives it the appearance of a large-scale football stadium. But comparing it to a single football field doesn't quite capture its scale. To put it in perspective, the building's total footprint could hold approximately 174 football fields. In the late 2010s, the electric vehicle market was beginning to heat up, and as Tesla needed to adjust to their seemingly exponential growth, they proposed a plan to build a quote-unquote massive factory. The company initially selected several different locations, all based in the central US. The idea was that the factory would be built in an area that could easily link Tesla with both coasts. Its only existing US facility at the time was in Fremont, California. The company ultimately chose Austin, driven largely by tax incentives and a favorable environment for business. With the location secured, it was time for one of the most impressive construction projects the country has seen within the past few years. In July of 2020, construction officially began. With the COVID-19 pandemic in full swing, Texas proved advantageous since construction was still allowed to proceed. In late July and early August, the construction team began rapidly clearing land. The massive plot of land was flattened, draining the swamps and moving large amounts of dirt. By late August, the team was beginning to use gravel fill to build up the pre-foundation. Thanks to Joe T, I'm not even gonna try and say his last name, the world was able to see updated videos of the site every couple of days. By September, the concrete work started, kicking off the foundation work that lied ahead. The world also got its first look at what the end product would look like. Plans showed three separate buildings, each extremely slender in appearance, although the thinnest point of any of the buildings was still over 230 feet wide. Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, commented on the design, stating that the areas that appeared to be open would actually be covered, making one giant building. The covered empty space between the buildings would serve as roads for semis to easily transport various products in and out of the factory. By November, much of the foundation work had kicked off, and in December, the steel structure was beginning to rise. Into early 2021, the building was beginning to take shape with initial roof construction. By October of the same year, interior work was well underway on certain parts of the building, allowing for Tesla to start limited production runs of the Model Y. In April of 2022, Tesla hosted a grand opening event called the Cyber Rodeo, marking the Gigafactory's official launch. The event showcased some of the factory's capabilities and its future plans. And because at this point you're probably wondering, Elon stated that 194 billion hamsters would be able to fit in the factory. Also, if you were to put the building on its side, it would be taller than the Burj Khalifa. In 2023 and 2024, Tesla has been installing a massive solar roof, creating an outline of the word Tesla. When completed, this will be the largest rooftop solar array in the world, at around 30 megawatts of peak output. The Gigafactory manufactures two vehicles, the Model Y and the Cybertruck. If you can sum this factory up into one concept, it would be defined as two words, vertical integration. This is a business strategy where a company owns and manages multiple stages of its production process and supply chain, everything from sourcing raw materials to selling the finished product. And because Tesla's Gigafactory is so expansive, it can easily embody this concept under one roof. For example, the entire 4680 lithium-ion battery production process is owned by the factory in Austin. Raw materials like lithium and nickel are delivered to the factory and undergo quality checks. The raw materials are mixed, coated onto thin metal foils to form cathodes and anodes, dried, and then wound into cores for the battery cells. These cells are filled with an electrolyte, sealed, and stabilized through charging cycles. The cells are then grouped into modules, integrated into battery packs, and undergo rigorous testing. And as a side note, these cells have given and Tesla some pretty serious issues, which we'll talk more about in the next section. By June of 2024, Tesla had produced over 50 million 4680 cells at Giga Texas, with production rates rising from 85,000 cells per day in mid-2023 to 126,000 currently. Interestingly, this output supports the production of over 1,000 Cybertrucks per week. One of the most interesting things about this factory is that it uses a process known as gigacasting. The gigapress is a massive machine capable of exerting over 6,000 tons of clamping force designed to produce large, complex aluminum parts that traditionally require multiple smaller components. 
For the Model Y in Austin, this is how the underbody is created. The machine melts down aluminum ingots and injects the molten metal into a mold at high speed and pressure, ensuring it flows evenly and fills all the intricate details. Once the mold is filled, the aluminum is rapidly cooled and solidified before the mold opens up and the cast piece is ejected. This entire process, from injection to ejection, takes just a few minutes. Afterward, excess material known as flash is trimmed off. Tesla noted that this process for the Model Y removes 79 parts and decreases cost to manufacture these components by 40%. After the major frame components are built up, it's painted and prepped for powertrain assembly. Components like the battery pack are now added, in addition to the electric motors and inverters, both of which are also entirely assembled in the Gigafactory. After the powertrain is built up, the interior of the vehicle is assembled, as well as the final few components of the car. When this is completed, the software is installed and the vehicle goes through extensive testing. As I mentioned in the intro, this manufacturing process has enabled the Gigafactory to manufacture 5,000 Model Ys from scratch per week. As for the Cybertruck, much of the process is relatively similar. The biggest differentiator is that the exoskeleton of the Cybertruck is made of stainless steel, which can't be made with the same Gigacasting process. Instead, Tesla uses cold forming and laser cutting to form the panels that eventually get assembled. As I mentioned earlier, the Gigafactory has faced several significant challenges with the production of its 4680 batteries. Despite efforts to scale production, the batteries remain costly due to unresolved technical issues, especially with the dry electrode process, which has not met expectations for reducing costs by 50%. Additionally, the cells have encountered problems with safety, cycle life, and charging speed. Internal management struggles have exacerbated these issues, leading to significant leadership changes as the project has been described as a financial black hole. In January of 2023, Tesla announced plans to invest $776 million to expand the factory. The expansion included five major areas for a combined total of about 1.55 million square feet of new development. The completion for this was set between September 2023 and January of 2024. However, to this day, nothing has been done whatsoever. The only expansion happening right now is a massive data center, which will have over 500 megawatts of power draw at its peak, and Musk shared a video on X in late August 2024. This facility will primarily support Tesla's AI hardware with NVIDIA's GPUs, marking what could be a major step in Tesla's AI and machine learning capabilities. This was originally slated to finish in August, but is still under construction as of very recently and will most likely finish in the coming months. Tesla plans to use this computing power to train its neural nets, to deliver its long-promised self-driving capability, although it's impossible to know how much closer this will get them to that goal. While this development may seem promising, many observers argue it signals a shift in Tesla's focus away from producing a truly affordable EV. Despite Elon's claims that a lower-cost model could debut as early as 2025, skepticism remains about the feasibility of this timeline. Lastly, in mid-August, Tesla stopped accepting orders for the cheapest version of the Cybertruck, which was priced at around $61,000 and offered 250 miles of range. The cheapest option now is the $100,000 all-wheel drive model. How this will affect the Gigafactory in Austin remains to be seen, but could shift the demand for the EV. This project was very interesting to cover because it lives at the center of what I make videos about, being construction, manufacturing, energy, and engineering within the US. I am by no means an expert in the Tesla realm, but if you're interested, I'd recommend checking out these channels. I want to thank you for watching the video and ask that you please leave some feedback via the Google Forms link in the description. Either way, I'll see you next time.